The earth of the dinosaurs is familiar, yet different. It was warmer than today. Deserts were widespread. For a great part of the dinosaur era, there were no broadleaf trees and no flower-bearing plants. During the dinosaur era, there is no Arctic ice cap and Antarctica is subtropical. For tens of millions of years, seasons barely change. The water of the oceans is also much warmer. Hurricanes are frequent. The magnetic pole changes position continuously. Many times a modern compass would have pointed east, west or south. When dinosaurs appear, the nearby stars are in radically different positions. The moon is closer and the tides have more amplitude. The earth spins faster and thus the year has 385 days. The earth will never see a bigger creature on land. Yet it starts its life in eggs just a little bigger than grapefruits. Scientists believe that female Argentinosaurus, like all Titanosaurs, a class of four-legged, long-necked dinosaurs, left their eggs to their fate as soon as they were laid, relying on their large number for the survival of the species. This baby Argentinosaur, let's call him Strong One, will grow up to be as big as a herd of 14 elephants, 120 feet long, longer than a blue whale, the largest animal living today, if he lives long enough. Predators and hazards abound. Only a few will reach adulthood. Size has its advantages. The highest branches belong to those who can reach them. And many predators are too small to be threatening in most situations. Strong One is now about 10 years old. He has reached a length of 60 feet, half his adult size. His rapid growth will give him the protection of size early in life. If a single Argentinosaur is hard to attack, a herd of Argentinosaurs is even more so. And such a herd has to move constantly because it eats a lot and has to find new or regrown food sources. Strong One has reached maturity. For many scientists, he's at full size. He's 20 years old. And he is at the beginning of more than a century of life. Other scientists believe that he will keep on growing all of his life at a much slower pace than in his earlier years.
Argentinosaurs were 12 times more massive than their biggest predator. They were almost invincible. So Longtooth belongs to this new species of Giganotosaurus. She is, to be precise, a Mapusaurus. And at 22 years of age, she is fully grown. Strong One is, unknowingly, in a critical time. As an adult Argentinosaur, he has no predator to fear. Unless he is too old or sick or wounded. Despite their numbers and their powerful jaws, the Giganotosaurs can't bring down such a giant. Tearing off pieces of skin and letting the large prey bleed to death or die from infection is a strategy more likely to succeed. Giganotosaurs could wait days, even weeks, between meals. But this time they won't have to. Time flies, millions of years pass, and as the continents keep on drifting, the Earth begins to resemble more what it is today. Species emerge, evolve, disappear. Nature never stops changing. North America, flying reptiles reach their apogee with the Quetzalcoatlus, a pterosaur as wide as a small plane. No flying bird will ever get as big, not even close. Apart from flight, this reptile has nothing in common with birds. And evolution gave it nothing to survive the impending dramatic events.
Several factors could have contributed to the demise of dinosaurs. Mammals became bigger and more competitive. Drifting, isolated continents touched each other. New rivalries appeared. New diseases spread. The climate was growing colder, possibly because of increased volcanic activity. Five million years before the end of the dinosaur era, the volcanoes of the world became much more active. The air was unbreathable in many places. Vegetation suffered from the acid rain and also from the darkened and dust-filled skies. But still, Many dinosaurs made it through for a little while longer. This comet is as big as Mount Everest. It covers the distance from the moon to the Earth in two hours. Cuts through our atmosphere in two seconds. It hits the Earth near today's Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. All the forests of North and South America are destroyed by fire. Already weakened, dinosaurs are the animals that suffer most. If they don't die as a result of the impact and its immediate consequences, they will die gradually in the aftermath. In a relatively short time, dinosaurs become history. Or do they? Not all the dinosaurs disappeared. Birds are dinosaurs. It's difficult to imagine how mammals could have evolved alongside large dinosaurs. If they hadn't become extinct, maybe we just wouldn't be here. Instead, when we look at the birds of today, it's as if the dinosaurs have left us only their grace and beauty.